Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy the story. I'm going to try and upload a new story each day. The Shifting Shadows of Whitewood Forest The moon hung low in the Inkai sky, casting a pale glow over Whitewood Forest. Five adventurous souls, armed with tents, sleeping bags, and the enthusiasm of youth, ventured into the heart of this remote wilderness. The campers, led by the intrepid Jake, sought a break from the monotony of city life and yearned for the thrill of the unknown. As they delved deeper into the dense thicket of ancient trees, whispers of the forest's eerie reputation reached their ears. Locals spoke of strange occurrences, mysterious disappearances, and the ancient curse that supposedly veiled Whitewood in perpetual darkness. Undeterred by local legends, the group set up their campsite near a serene, moonlit clearing. The flickering flames of their campfire danced like phantoms in the shadows, casting an ever-shifting pattern on the surrounding trees. Little did they know that these shadows harbored a malevolence that went far beyond their understanding. The first night passed uneventfully, but as the campers drifted into the second, an unsettling energy permeated the air. Shadows crept and slithered, moving with an intelligence that defied the laws of nature. A knees settled among the group like a thick fog, and nervous glances were exchanged beneath the flickering light of the dying fire. As the clock ticked past midnight, a foreboding whisper echoed through the trees. Beware the shadows, it hissed, sending shivers down the spines of the campers. Dismissing it as a trick of the wind, they huddled closer, seeking solace in the dwindling warmth of the fire. But the shadows had other plans. As the moon reached its zenith, the shadows detached themselves from their surroundings, coalescing into sinister, wraith-like figures that circled the campsite. Panic set in as the campers realized the shadows were not merely tricks of the light, they were sentient, malevolent entities with a dark secret to guard. In a desperate attempt to escape the encroaching darkness, the group stumbled through the labyrinthine woods, pursued by the shifting shadows that hungered for something beyond their comprehension. The forest seemed to twist and contort, paths rearranging themselves like a nightmarish puzzle designed to keep them forever lost. Each step deeper into white would reveal more of the ancient curse that plagued the forest. Legend spoke of a vengeful spirit, wrong centuries ago, whose wrath cursed the land with sentient shadows. These shadows sought to trap wandering souls, absorbing their life force to sustain the curse. Separated and terrified, the campers faced their darkest fears manifested by the shadows. Whispers of guilt, regrets, and long-buried secrets taunted them as the forest itself became a malevolent force, orchestrating their descent into madness. As the night wore on, the campers, their resolve weakening, stumbled upon an ancient altar at the heart of the forest. The whispers intensified, revealing the only way to break the curse, a sacrifice to appease the vengeful spirit. In a desperate bid for survival, the group grappled with the moral dilemma. With the shadows closing in, one among them, driven to the brink by fear, offered themselves as the sacrificial lamb. The shadows, hungry for a life to consume, retreated momentarily, allowing the remaining campers to flee the accursed forest. As dawn broke, the survivors emerged, haunted by the horrors they had witnessed. The shifting shadows of Whitewood Forest, though momentarily appeased, continued their restless dance among the ancient trees, waiting for the next group of unsuspecting souls to venture into the heart of their cursed domain. The campers, forever scarred by the shadows' malevolence, carried the weight of that fateful night, a chilling reminder that some secrets are better left and disturbed in the shifting shadows of Whitewood Forest. In the aftermath of their harrowing ordeal, the survivors struggled to readjust to the semblance of normalcy. Nightmares plagued their sleep, shadows taking on sinister forms even in the safety of well-lit rooms. The sacrificial act, though desperate, left an indelible mark on the conscience of the group. Each survivor grappled with the haunting question of whether they had truly escaped the forest's curse or merely postponed their inevitable fate. Months passed, and the survivors, bound by the shared trauma of Whitewood Forest, kept in sporadic contact. However, an unseen force seemed to draw them back, an insidious pull that whispered in the recesses of their minds. Unbeknownst to them, the shadows, having tasted the potency of fear and desperation, yearned for more. One by one, the survivors found themselves inexplicably drawn to Whitewood Forest again. The forest curse had woven itself into the fabric of their beings, compelling them to return. 
It was as if the shadows, having claimed one sacrifice, hungered for the rest. Each survivor, unable to resist the force that tugged at their very souls, succumbed to the call. As they reunited at the edge of the forest, the shadows stirred once more, dancing in anticipation. The survivors, their eyes haunted by the memories of their past encounter, exchanged wary glances. The shifting shadows, now more malevolent than ever, enveloped them in an ethereal embrace, guiding them deeper into the heart of Whitewood. This time, the forest seemed alive with an ancient malevolence, branches reaching out like skeletal fingers to entangle the group. The shadows whispered in a chorus, weaving tales of betrayal and revenge that echoed the very essence of the cursed land. The survivors, ensnared in a web of dark magic, struggled against the inexorable pull. As they neared the heart of Whitewood, the altar where the sacrificial act had taken place stood as a sinister monument. The shadows, now manifesting with greater intensity, demanded another offering to satiate the curse. The survivors, bound by fate in the shadows' malevolent grip, faced an impossible choice, sacrifice one among them or condemn all to the relentless pursuit of the shadows. Tensions reached a breaking point as accusations flew, friendship strained, and the shadows closed in with an insatiable hunger. In the midst of the chaos, a reluctant decision was made, and one survivor stepped forward, willing to bear the burden of sacrifice to save the others. As the shadows converged, the sacrificial act unfolded once more, echoing the tragic dance of despair that had played up before. The forest momentarily appeased, released its grip on the remaining survivors. The sacrifice, however, became one with the shadows, forever bound to the cursed land. The survivors, their hearts heavy with grief and guilt, stumbled out of Whitewood Forest, forever marked by the shifting shadows that clung to their souls. The cursed land, having claimed its toll, sank back into an eerie stillness, awaiting the next group of unwitting souls to wander into its depths and perpetuate the cycle of sacrifice. Whitewood Forest, with its shifting shadows and ancient curse, stood as a testament to the relentless power of darkness, a cautionary tale whispered among those who dared to venture into its depths a tale of lost souls, malevolent shadows, and the haunting secrets that lurked beneath the ancient trees. Thank you for listening, I hope you enjoyed the story. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.